Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. I figured I'd put all the good stuff up front, um, but I'm here at the laundromat again. We finally restocked the machine. After the weekend, this whole thing was completely bought out. I mean, it looked like someone had uh, had a date night and taken their, their love to the laundromat and just cleaned the machine out of all our fine eats. So now I've got it restocked. I spent like 200 bucks um, Monday and restocked it finally. Restocked almost all the machines here. Um, vending sales here on the vending machine aspect of the laundromat just keep going up. Uh, the snack machine back there directly behind me, that's up to $15 a day right about. The Pepsi machine's right around five, between five and $10 a day. The quarter pusher's making $10 a day-ish. I have to split that with somebody, so my net's about 10. Uh, the dryers are getting used all the time. Uh, I'm just walking through here and pointing stuff out. The soap or bag machine, maybe a dollar a day. The bags are dirt cheap. I have like a thousand here that I took, I got for free when I bought the laundromat. That is the fabric softener machine. It's um, not the fat, the the, um, the dryer sheet machine. That's uh, that's making me maybe maybe five dollars a week. The soap machine's actually pretty good, a couple dollars a week. And um, what I was wanting to talk about is improving the efficiency of a laundromat location. If you look directly behind me, there's a Coke machine. It's outside. Once again, I'm downtown, like real close to downtown, and um, right outside Columbus, Ohio. Um, you can see, let's see. I'm gonna go outside. So we're in a downtown location, just about. There's downtown right there, so I'm pretty close, a couple blocks away. And if you'll notice, there are no pop machines. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's no pop machines. Except mine. This Coke machine's making 10, 15 bucks a day. There's some weekends I come in, I'll have $50 in the machine. It's crazy. So what I wanted to talk about was increasing the efficiency of this location. Like, they had this place since 1984, and they never decided to put machines on the street. So now, so I had to edit because a guy walked in and it was my uh, quarter pusher machine guy. And look what he, look what he did. I don't know, you, can, you can't really see it. He said, let's see how much money you made today, Brandon. So it's only 12 or 13 days into the month and we took the quarters out of the quarter pusher, made almost $200, which is insane because we made 215 all of August, we're at September the 12th. I can't remember what the actual collection date was, but so 12 days into the month, 200 bucks. So that's cool. Um, I'm not keeping this money. It's going right back in the quarter machine or the change exchanger because they are spending money like water, taking it from the quarter push, the quarter exchanger here, putting in dollar bills, and then it's going over to the quarter pusher. Uh, is it here? I don't know, it's over there somewhere. So I'm gonna put these back in the machine um, so we have change, so I don't get angry calls on Sunday night at eight o'clock cussing me out saying, my dollar won't work, I need a quarter, I need a quarter, which has actually happened twice now. So it's gonna go in the change machine and um, we've been doing real well, um, selling stuff. I'm excited about the vending business. Oh, efficiency, yeah. I'm, I'm not good at editing or keeping track of things, but we've got smart lighting to put in. This location spending about $250 a month just on lighting. And as it stands right now, we're going to put in smart lighting. We're going to use Wise. Um, they've got these smart outlets that you could hook up to their, um, their motion sensor. And it will turn a branch on and you can control it with a timer. So I want to take some of these LED lights that I've got sitting, sitting behind that door there. And we're going to put them in so if somebody comes in at one or two o'clock and causes trouble all the lights flip on otherwise they turn on at six o'clock they turn off at 11 o'clock at night so we'll have smart lighting which should cut my actual light usage down probably 30 or 40 percent so from 11 to 6 the lights will be off uh, most of them will be off but then we're going from these um these are high efficiency fluorescents and we're going to go to LEDs, which is a huge savings in of itself. So I'm hoping to go from about 250 a month in electric lighting bills, maybe down to 100. 
Um, and the big thing is we're going to deploy that kind of stuff. All the vending, the quarter pushers, the new lighting, we're going to do that at three locations rather than one. And I think that the thing is a lot of laundromat owners and business owners, they think, oh, I can save 50 bucks a month. Uh, but for me at scale with three locations, it's actually, you know, one, one change I make that saves or makes me $50 a month, it's now $150 a month at the three locations. And then uh, per year, you know, it's just kind of compounding returns. It's like I was saying with that um, Coke machine that's out there, which I guess you can't see. But with the Coke machine, no one ever had the uh, thought to just put it on the street so people can buy pop at night. And my camera that's uh, right on the front door, right there on the outside, it goes off two, three, four, five o'clock in the morning. People walk by, they buy pop. And those sales would not have existed had I not decided to move a pop machine outside. So, um, going good, I guess. So, thanks for watching.